Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video we are going to discuss some makeup products in my collection that maybe should be decluttered. <laughs> we are going to have a chatty video where we are going to do the makeup declutter tag. I've pulled a bunch of fun things here. We have some really interesting questions ahead of us, so let's jump into the video. But if you haven't been here before, this is the first video here. Hello, my name is Angie. I'm such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related. And if you want to see more of that on your timeline, don't forget to subscribe because I upload five videos every week. I saw this tag video over at Annette's Makeup Corner and I thought it was so interesting. It is called the Makeup Declutter Tag, but the creator of this tag is creator Ava Maria. I really like Ava Maria's channel. I think she's absolutely amazing. I think she's on a little bit of a hiatus right now, but I think still you should check her out. I will link both of these creators down below. There is 10 different questions here and all of these questions are about like makeup that you might not reach for, makeup that you've forgotten about, makeup that be needing to be decluttered from your collection and if you've been a viewer of my channel for a bit you know that every year I have a big declutter series on my channel where I go through my entire collection I show you all of it and then I try and just downsize my collection a little bit I mean I do review makeup for a living so it makes sense for me to need to go through and see which things I really need to uh, save so let's go through these questions from 1 to 10 the first one is a makeup item that is impractical and I decided to interpret this question as a product that isn't necessarily faulty uh, there's nothing wrong with this product I still think that this is a good product but I don't reach for it because it's just an added step and I don't know if I'm ever going to go through this one. This is the Patrick Todd. I think this is the first brow product that he released. This is the Shaping Wax in Clear. I think there is a colored one as well. First of all, it's impractical practical to open even. By the way, I did film this look. It, I don't know if it's live or not, but I will link the things that I have on my face down below. Check the description box for links to all the things I'm going to be talking about, including what I have on my face. If this look is live, I'll link that as well. If it's not linked, it means that it's it's coming soon. I did film it. This is a really nice product. This is a wax that's like dry. Nothing comes off. It's not really even sticky. This is a water activated or like setting spray water. You need to you need to like activate it with something. And then you like go with your spoolie and use it in your brows. It's a nice product. But why would I go through the hassle of using that one when I can just use this one? This is also from Patrick Ta and this is the Major Brow Lamination Gel. The, first of all, you get a similar result, but with less hassle and less steps. Like, why, why would anyone... I Just get this one. This is great. This is the best brow gel I've ever tried in my life. This is good too. It's a really good product, but th the hassle of it just makes me not reach for it and it just sits in a drawer in my collection i honestly should bring it out and just use it up and i might but not now number two is a mascara that definitely expired this is the thing i quite recently moved here i moved from across the atlantic ocean i was living in sweden with my husband and then he got a job here in texas so we moved during the end of last year so we've been here for a little over six months and i went through my entire collection and i got rid of a lot of things that was expired or stuff that i didn't want to use up so when i saw this question i was like oh this is easy because i know for a fact that i didn't bring any old mascaras here but i did find when i went through my boxes i did find this mascara that was almost done, but I hadn't entirely finished it. And it is a really good mascara. It is from Makeup Geek, and this is the Extensions Effect Mascara. Makeup Geek has since then ceased to exist. Makeup Geek is no longer here as a brand, which is a shame. I love Makeup Geek. I thought Makeup Geek was such a nice brand. This mascara was beautiful. It was a really nice a uh, voluminizing mascara that still gave you some curl and length and i just thought that this was a really nice mascara honestly and i think it is expired at this point because i haven't like i didn't even i think i just put this in the wrong bucket when i moved here and i forgot to use it up but it is a really good mascara it was so I, i'm gonna put this in my empties because i was so sure that i didn't have any expired mascaras because i only have mascaras here in front of me on like at this table where i'm filming so that i don't have a lot of open mascaras but one slipped through the grid 
Number three is a red lipstick you rarely or like this is a never that you never wear and I was thinking the same here I was like I try to get rid of a lot of makeup that I didn't like reach for or didn't like of course there are always products in your collection that you don't use or that you like don't use as often as other things I've been trying even though today I'm wearing a nude but I've been trying to make an effort these past maybe I want to say like past month to really not only do nude lips to do more bold lips to do red lips to do orange lips to do like more bold options to not always do a nude lip because I love a bright like a bold eye and a nude lip but I've been trying to reach for more stuff so when I went through my collection, I was still like all the things, options I was looking for. I was like, yeah, this is a red that I could reach for. This is a red that I could reach for. I could put this on now. I would be fine with wearing this one. But then I found a product and I didn't even remember that I had this product. And when I looked at it, when I, because it was all black, it was laying like this. And I was like, what is this product? And then I switched it over and I saw that it is this red orange liquid lipstick from Linda Halbert. And I was like, I forgot I had this one. I have been looking for bright orange lips to wear on its own with like no makeup and just a bright lip. And I've been going through my collection trying to like figure out all of the lipstick that I have that are a bright reddish orange to wear like that. And I didn't find this one because it looked like this just laying and I didn't see it. So this is a beautiful formula this is the velvet couture liquid lipstick this is an orange red if you hear something in the background i don't know if you do but if you hear something in the background my neighbors are having the windows exchanged so it's very loud for me but i don't think that you can hear it but if you do that's what's going on this is a beautiful formula this is a beautiful color let me see, like it is i bought this one myself and i cannot believe that I forgot to use this. This is a multi-use product. You can actually use this as like all over. You, I've used this as a liquid blush as well. And I just, I forgot about this. I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna put it at the top because this is a red lipstick that I never wear, but I want to. I want to wear this one. I might wear it tomorrow. If we're gonna be honest, this is great. Next product is a high-end product not worth the hype. I have not tried a lot of not good high-end products since I moved here, but I did try something that I had high expectations for that didn't really live up to those expectations for me. And I feel like Huda Beauty is a high-end brand, right? It's sold at Sephora. This isn't affordable makeup and this is the color block palettes that she released this year. I didn't think that these aren't horrible, these aren't horrible, but you can get better than this at Colourpop. So why would you get these? This is the um, orangey purple one, and this is one of my hairs, and this is the blue green one. I like this one more than I like the other one, but same here. It's not revolutionary in any way, not the undertones. I just, I don't think that these are worth the price. And for that reason, I opted out for buying the new small palette that came from Buddha because I don't, I don't think that I like the quality and the small palettes from Huda that she's doing right now. So those are definitely a high-end product that I've tried this year where I was like, I, this isn't really worth any kind of hype. Question number five is a drugstore dud. And this is something very, very, very recent. And this is, I knew, I had a sneaking suspicion that I was gonna dislike this one. This is the Pacifica Sun, Dream, Sun Dreams Bronze. I bought mine in medium. This dried out after the first time I used it. Um, there was a seal that you pulled off when you used it, but I didn't think that the seal meant that this was like a single use item. Like you better use it up within a week because that's it. I think you can even see here that there's a crack here. Do you see that it's dried up and there's a crack around? Yeah, I don't understand. Did we not test this product? Because now this is dry. Like, yeah, I get some up on, on my, but like it's, it's, dry it's so dry and i'm like and the thing with this one is it wasn't even good when it wasn't dry it was very sheer which could be good for bronzer but it also kind of patchy and lifted up the foundation so this one do not spend your money on this one really don't 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 spend your money on this one absolute dud number six is an eyeshadow palette you forgot and this is something that i actually found a couple of days ago when i was looking for something else 
Pals. I found this one laying in a very peculiar position. This is the Off Quartz palette by Colourpop. I brought this to the US from Sweden. Uh, Colourpop sent this to me in PR uh, back when I was living in Sweden and I brought this one here. And this is totally unused because I... <laughs> And I brought it here and it's still unused. And I put it in a specific position because I wanted to do a video basically like half-face drugstore, half-face high-end. So I saved this for that specific reason, but then I put it in a weird position and I forgot about it. And I found this a couple of days ago and I was like, yeah, this one, <laughs> this one, that was a thing. So, I mean, it's still in the pack. I'm, I am going <laughs> to... <laughs> I am gonna do that video uh, now I can include this one I I forgot it existed but I mean it serves me right for just pushing it into a corner of this furniture and then totally forgetting about it but I I forgot I had that I still haven't used it I have no idea if it's good or not number seven is a foundation that is not your match and I talked about this recently in a video and this is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop this is in number eight and that's why I said in the video where I talked about this that I had either seven or eight which is just a little bit too light for me this works for me if I absolutely have not seen a sliver of sun for some months this is my shade. I tan quite easily and I like being outdoors, especially in this nice weather that we have here in um, in Texas. So I like being outdoors. So for that reason, this just isn't going to match me when I, when I live here. So this is the foundation. And as you can see, that is too light for me. So I, I think I'm going to buy this maybe like a shade or two up just so that I can use this because I do think that this is a really good foundation it is just a hint too light for me and I have to use so much bronzer when I'm using this and you can you can see that my face is lighter which is a shame because I really do like this one it is a really really good skin tint I just need to get it in my shade and I need to stop pretending that I'm gonna make this shade 8 work for me because I'm not I'm not, I'm not going through all of that when I have so many good foundations in my collection. But I do love this one and I am going to try and get this one in one or two shades higher. I think I did try it out in Sephora and I know that number 9 was not my shade. Because it had a weird undertone. So maybe it was number 10. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, this is a good foundation that is definitely not in my, in my shade. Next question is product that wasn't worth the hype. And I knew instantly what I wanted to mention. I've just recently started doing TikTok. I, I, I like started doing TikTok more on the regular and I enjoy TikTok, but I still see people pop up showing this product as a good product and as a dupe for the Spotlight Highlighter Wands by Charlotte Tilbury. Listen, just be first of all, this packaging, just because there's a poof at the end of this one does not mean it's a dupe. This is a horrible product, and every time I see someone recommend that, I instantly think you just wanted to have a clickbaity TikTok. Something like, oh, I found a drugstore dupe. This isn't a dupe. First of all, this packaging is not as plushy as um, the Charlotte Tilbury ones. You cannot really use this product for anything. And it doesn't come out evenly here either. It just comes out in little splotches, so you, can, you can't use it. And second of all, this is an extremely chunky, glittery, unflattering product that just sits on the skin like some kind of a glitter peel-off band-aid. It is absolutely atrocious. And anyone that has Charlotte Tilbury on one side and this on the other side and says that they're the same is either lying or in desperate need of glasses. This is a really bad product, a really bad product, and I am not the only one saying that. If you want to get a liquid highlighter from the drugstore, do not get this one, the bright lights from Makeup Revolution. It is not a good product. It is not a dupe of anything. It is just actual trash. Thank you very much for coming to my TED Talk. Number nine is concealer that didn't work. And we all know that it is the Concealer of Doom from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This concealer is... It, it doesn't work out for me for me it's it dries down 
like this and it looks a little bit like a skin color like white out under my eyes a little bit like cement it just looks very aging under my eyes i will say this is let me see if i can put this here this is very opaque very opaque and it's very full coverage and i use this to cut my crease it is a great cut crease concealer but for me, even when I just use a little, even when I put it like this, dip my brush in here and try to put a little under my eyes, it still dries down like I haven't had a sip of water for a decade. It just really ages me and I'm 38. I don't need concealers to be aging me. I'm doing that just fine on my own. Number 10 is if you had to start one makeup category from scratch, what would that be? Let me show you. These are my makeup pens. Who do I think I am? Who, 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 do I, who, who do I think I am having this many pens? These are eyeliners and eye pens. I have no business owning this many pens. Like I don't need that. And this is after decluttering before moving here. Do you see the color of this? Yeah, it's this color. 98% of them like I'm always on a mission to find a really good eye pencil and a really good lip liner because those are two items that I honestly wear every time I'm gonna do my makeup I am gonna do prop this is probably I'm gonna do a little concealer and some like cream highlighter maybe a little powder a lip liner lip oil and something in my waterline that's what I'm gonna do no mascara fluff mascara, no bronzer, screw all of that, but I always use eye pens and lip pens. That's part of my makeup routine. So for that reason, I'm always on the hunt. I'm always on the hunt looking for more stuff, but I end up having a million. And these are all nice ones because I got rid of the bad ones. But I still think that this is the category that if I was forced to restart one of my categories, I think this would be it. I think this would be it because at this point, I, I know what I like <laughs> and maybe I don't need to get 300 million of the same color. I probably still would, but theoretically, this is the category that needs a reboot. Let me know what you thought about the questions. Let me know if you want to answer any of the questions down in the comments. I'd love to hear your answers to this. Or if you are a creator, please do the tag. Tag me, tag the creator, tag anyone. <laughs> we want to see what you do. I love filming tags. I love watching other people's tags. It is absolutely the best. If you ever see a tag that you would like me to do, do let me know because I would love to see it. I would say Twitter is probably the best way to, the best place to tag me because I get the least amount of notifications on Twitter. Okay, I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you again tomorrow for a new video. Bye!